Tiago Forte, one of the most influential people in the note taking and thought capture space. He's written books like Building a Second Brain, which is all about capturing things that you want to remember in a digitally enabled place. When I saw his blog about test driving a few new applications, had so many amazing takeaways that I just wanted to make a quick video to share them with you all. So Tiago has been an Evernote user for over 10 years. As the situation at Evernote becomes a little bit more turbulent, he decided to try out a few new tools. One of those tools was Obsidian. One of his favorite pieces of Obsidian was the speed of capture and the speed of being able to find the information that he had once wrote down because everything in Obsidian is stored locally, which means that there is no communication to the cloud no lag time with trying to find the information that you're looking for. Unfortunately, he did have some gripes. He felt like learning Markdown was a little bit too complicated for his liking. All of the basic functionality that he was looking for required community plugins. My favorite part from his reflection on Obsidian was this line. I'm just trying to write a few bullet points, not create a new code base. The more bells and whistles that you add, the more features and optionality, it just kind of slows down and makes the process a little bit more complicated than what it is intended to be. He had a very similar experience with Tana where he had to learn and keep in mind all new terms like reference links, properties, schema, super tags, views, filters, fields, nodes, sub nodes. Back to this overarching theme that writing things down should be as simple as having a thought so that it can actually benefit you in your life. And the more that gets in the way of that process, the more difficult the platform is to fully adopt. Mem was the last platform that he uh, explored. While it was the most visually and conceptually attractive option, he did struggle with the fact that it had no offline support and the fact that where Mem is supposed to shine in its AI department, it felt a little bit um, underwhelming. So that brings me to just my overall reflections and why I loved this blog so much. It comes down to this one line. I see no serious contenders on the horizon, not because it's not possible to create one, but because there's no incentive to. No one is getting excited about the prospect of creating a basic utility notes app these days. Therefore, no investor money is being raised, no headlines are being made, and no groundswell of popular enthusiasm is forming. Breaking news! Tiago, Tuz is here for you. Our primary goal is to build a basic, all-in-one, fast platform millions of people rely on to write, remember, and share things. Tiago, I am super hopeful that this video makes it in front of you because we would love to have a conversation. We would love to demo twos to you. We would love to hear your thoughts. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and happy Tuesday.